Hi, I'm John Michael, barely known to many of my friends as the uh, crazy Croatian living here in uh, Las Vegas. For over 30 years I've been doing various kinds of art, but primarily constructions and assemblages. I uh, use all kinds of media, found things, purchase things, and then kind of just put my ideas and views of the world together. I've often told people that uh, doing my art is almost like sitting on a shrink's couch because it allows me to uh, kind of check out where I am at given time, deal with various personal issues, or just make comments about places, things, and people I've seen, and my interpretations of, of uh, those events. My last series of art that uh, I created is a result of this horrible past election. All those thousands of phone calls, those surveys being bombasted by, you know, all the talking heads and so forth. Uh, the worst off was when you got one at 3 o'clock in the morning. What really frustrated me about that whole situation was all, oh, you know, when you got those things, they'd say, oh, we well, would like your opinion. And then they'd say, choose A or B, rank something 1 to 10, you know, but you never got the opportunity to give your opinion you know, along with comments. You know, they could then manipulate their surveys any way they wanted, representing that this is who you were. For me, it really wasn't me. And the other thing after a while that bugged me was the simple fact that these people were getting paid, you know, to disturb me at all hours and everything else. So finally I started asking them, hey, you're getting paid? What do I get for my, quote, opinion? Well, you know the result of that. It just clicked. That got me started to thinking, why don't I do my kind of survey, do an artistic survey, let people make their comments, and so forth. And then also tie it along with that, hey, if they do good, they get something for it. Isn't that the American way? You know, nothing for nothing, but do good and you win. So that's when I came up with the idea, let's do a Mousy Awards. I would uh, create the art and let people comment. The difference was rather than me giving it a title and having a tremendous influence on what they see, I'd let them name the piece. Then that way, you know, they had the input. And I always try to uh, tell people, I'm not interested in what you think I think, but I prefer to hear what's on your mind. So that's how the mouthy was born, and then I went to work. Here is a little picture of the award that everybody was going to buy for, and uh, so forth. And here are the simple rules that I set up for the contest. Rule number one, enter as many times as you wish. Rule number two, judges will only take into consideration your comments, titles, and wisdom. What side of the political aisle you represent will not be given any weight as to selecting the winner. Just want everyone to be able to express what they see and feel. Rule number three, do not be intimidated by what others may say. You are fortunate to live in the United States of America and are entitled to that wonderful freedom of speech. Number four, would like to publish comments on my blog and in a future video, but will respect you as being identified as being simply anonymous. And number five, the most important, Let's have some fun and really get mouthy. I ended up doing five pieces of art for the contest and sent them out about every two weeks. 
At the same time, I had promised uh, everyone that this would be fair and judging, and I wouldn't be judging it. So I put together a selection committee. That was a bit difficult to do. We first assembled after uh, the deadline for the first piece and made the decision on the winner. Uh, what was funny about that is actually <laughs> it was almost a contest when it within itself with all the uh, jurors because they were both from uh, you know different sides of the political aisle and uh, they bantered amongst themselves. Uh, that was really you know rather amusing. At that same meeting uh, we decided rather than meeting after each piece that we would just wait till the end just like in the big contest. But I think they have another uh, alternative to it. Uh, for they know the uh, crazy hunky when he gets people together. He's got Viva, Beer, Schlebo, Rakia, and uh, Vino. And we also happen to have a little bit of food. And uh, even though these people are better off than I am, you know, a free meal every now and then and a bunch of fun never hurt. Now, let me show you the art, the winners, and their comments, and the jury comments. First ever Mouthy Award has been awarded to Scott Trotter of Perump for his title and comments. He named the piece Genius Problem Solver Obama. Let's take a look at the art and then we'll get to his comment and the jury's comment. Excuse me for having to put on the glasses, but when you get to be my age, you know, you need all the help that you can get. Okay, here is the comment that Scott sent in, and also the uh, jury's note. Let me read them to you. Obama is a pure genius. Obama is a problem solver. He has now come up with an invention that will revolutionize, revolutionize child rearing. It is called the Obama Harness. No longer will you need child seats that can harm children if not properly installed. And children cannot be forgotten in the back of the car because they are right out front so they can be watched. This invention also revolutionizes clean energy. This as yet untapped New energy source is clean if a diesel matter filter diaper is installed. Now, if your child says, Mom, I'm bored, simply install the Obama harness and go to a, for a leisure ride through the park. This will also solve the problem of child obesity. I would urge you to call the piece Genius Problem Solver Obama, respectfully submitted by Scott Trotter. Uh, after viewing this, the jury noted the creativity of the thought, avoidance of political bickering, and wondered how many kids the individual had, and if perhaps he was an industrial design engineer or in the advertising business. We thank you, Scott, 